poachers using traffic cones on the highway to hide fish. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and welcome to the team. If you didn't hear this story, last month in April, the Environmental Conservation Police Officers of New York did some compliance checks, meaning they went out and looked for people who were poaching and catching striped bass before the season opened. I believe the season opened sometime in April, but there were a lot of anglers that were out there fishing for stripers, and some of them wanted to keep them. But where they put these fish is mind boggling. So to start off, April 16th, seven people were ticketed for keeping fish. Now they found the police officers, or the officers found fish hidden in the sand, behind logs, and in brush piles. The next day, three anglers were ticketed for hiding fish in traffic cones spawning the bridge that they were fishing in. And then on April 8th and 9th, seven people were ticketed for 10 fish and three people were ticketed for possessing, not possessing the correct marine registry. I should say there were seven people on the 16th ticketed for a bunch of fish, three on the 7th and seven again on the 8th and 9th. What makes this whole story funny and not really funny is that they thought that the best place to keep these fish would be in traffic cones on the bridge. Now, I want you to put on your villain cape for just a couple seconds. And if you were in their shoes, where would you put said poached fish? Now, I can understand the sand and a brush pile and so forth, so forth. But to put them in traffic cones as those traffic cones are spawning through the over the bridge is mind-boggling to me. And quite honestly, I'm very happy that the officers went out and ticketed all these people and, and hopefully they got they learned their lesson because we all pay fishing licenses so we can fish fish properly and those fishing licenses help support the industry or support habitat or, ha or support conservation or restocking fees and things like that and anglers who are out there that aren't using their or aren't paying for a fishing license just hurt all of us and don't get me wrong catching a fish and getting sometimes being harassed by a game warden is a pain in the ass but if you're not doing anything wrong and it really isn't a pain in the ass as long as you're respectful to that officer show the respect that they deserve and be honest about what's going on I I know several years ago, really it was a long time ago, I was out fishing, sea trout fishing, which is saltwater fish. I made this long cast and was using a chug bug on top of the water and I got a bite and it was a big, massive sea trout. Probably at that point, my biggest sea trout to date. And I got it in, unhooked it and released it. And as I released the fish out of the corner of my eye in the woods, probably 15 feet away from me was a game warden watching me. And he came out, checked all my stuff, made sure I wasn't keeping any fish because I wasn't, asked how I was doing. I gave him it, showed him the respect that he deserved. He saw my stuff and quickly let me go. But the key to that sentence is showing them respect. Anglers or people who poach aren't helping us at all and we have to give those wardens or police officers credit for what they do. And while right now there's lots of ups and downs and fishing drama in this world that we love in bass fishing and so forth. What these guys did was the right thing. And I wanted to share that and share my opinion on it too. But I'd love to hear what your opinion is. Do you think they did the right thing? If you were out there catching fish, are you hiding fish in traffic cones? I hope not. But in all honesty, it's a funny kind of story and I thought I should share it. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers.